Hi, and welcome to VR for Work. Today, we have another quick tip for you. Um, we're continuing to work in the Immersed application in our headset. Uh, Immersed is uh, a new, not new, new app, but new in that it just launched a few weeks ago in the Oculus Quest Store and is available to all you Quest users to go and download and try out for free. I highly recommend it. It connects to an application or a client running on your Windows or Mac or Linux des desktop and emulates those desktops in your headset. You want to know more about Immersed? Visit the site. Check it out. Today we're talking about uh, a neat trick that I use when I work in Immersed to bring my, my smartphone, my Android phone, into my Immersed environment using an application on Microsoft Windows. That application is called Your Phone, or if you're using a Samsung, Link to Windows. So let's jump in and take a look. So Your Phone in Immersed, what is it? Okay, Your Phone, or again, Link to Windows, if you're on Samsung, is an app by Microsoft, runs on Windows 10 version 1809 and above. And it connects to the companion app that you run on your Android device. And then it brings in certain elements of your Android device onto your desktop screen so that you can fully interact um, and do things like see text messages, respond to text messages, get notifications from certain applications, um, and even uh, make and receive phone calls. So uh, let's jump in and, and take a look at this. And so we're gonna start out already in Immersed and we have our desktop screen up here in front. So we're gonna go down into the task tray where we have the Immersed icon sitting, right? So I'm gonna get my uh, mouse cursor on that. I'm going to hit my A button, bring up the Immersed menu, settings, and then I'm going to um, launch virtual display. Now you have that brief flicker um, as the other display is launching. So you get your main display back. And now over here on my left, you'll notice I have a second display and I'm going to pause here and show you that I set that second display up in portrait. Let's get a better view of that. There we go. So I'm gonna set that second display up in portrait. Okay. So you can change that setting right there in your task tray through the Immersed icon menu. And then I am opening the Your Phone app. Let me go back here, I don't wanna to go too fast. So down here in my um, task bar, the bottom of my screen, one of those icons that I've placed there is for the Your Phone application running in Windows. So I'm gonna bring that up and it's gonna take a second and say, connecting to your phone. So I believe here, uh, of course, whenever you do a, uh, a demo, right, it, it can't go well uh, the first time. So something happened, it said, but I, it's got a retry button and I click it again and fortunately, there it is, there's, there's my phone. Now, you know, Android phones can get skinned in many different ways. I happen to use the Microsoft launcher, I'm kind of a, a Microsoft uh, uh, in that ecosystem and tend to use their tool set. Um, and so, you know, I've got this Bing background that kind of changes every day, my search bar. And then other than that, I leave uh, the uh, home screen pretty sparse. Now, I'm gonna go up into the upper right-hand corner and kind of minimize this window on my main screen. Because right now your phone is open and running in my main screen. So I minimize that and then I'm gonna grab it at the top, right? I'm gonna uh, point my cursor at it using my controller in Immersed uh, and pull the trigger. That little uh, circular icon will run and after that circle kind of fills up, I kind of get a sense that if I've grabbed the window and then I'm gonna pull it over into this portrait window. Now, understand that in Immersed, this window is as big or Sometimes I run it bigger than my main desktop screen. So let me arrange some windows here, get that one out of the way, pull the phone window over. So again, to me, 
this, you know, is my phone five feet tall. Now I maximize it and voila, there I have my phone running in Windows, <laughs> in Immersed, um, in its glory, and I can interact with uh, all the feature and functionality. Now, um, up here in the upper right, you know, you have your, uh, your menu, your hamburger menu, right? It's got the three lines. You click it and you can expand um, this menu option here. Um, to get a better sense of what's available. And you have notifications at the top. You have messages next. You have phone, phone screen, and calls, right? And so I can click on any of those discrete items, or because I have my whole phone screen running here, I can just use my phone screen. Oftentimes, you know, navigating your phone screen can be a little tough, right? Because it it's designed with a touch UI. And uh, we're not to the point yet, I think that will be here eventually, where I can reach out in VR and actually touch something and get a reaction. I'm still using a mouse cursor here. Um, so to swipe the screen um, is a little tricky. So what I tend to do is I, I use my search bar here and I'll click on it. And then I can see kind of my recently opened apps or I can search for a specific app if I'm trying to get to something that's, that's not there in my, my frequently uh, used applications, right? And so I go back to uh, my regular screen. Um, one other little trick, let me go back here a little bit, is here at the top of the screen, right, you can see camera. Now I could, and I've done this, right, turn the camera on, could set my phone up in a certain manner, set this, uh, your phone up, put it on a big screen, click the camera button. Now, you certainly you probably want your, your phone plugged in during this, but then you could run the camera kind of as an external camera in turn, in, into uh, your, your uh, immersed environment. I'll have to make a note. There's actually uh, a, a, probably a quick tip video in that. Okay. Let's go back to the main screen. We're, we're actually just about done this quick tip. Um, and again, as you can see, then, you know, I can manipulate and put this window anywhere I want. And you know, oftentimes I have maybe two or three other windows up and running, but I can always grab my phone screen. So if my phone suddenly starts ringing, and yeah, that's the end of that. Um, I can kind of see who's calling and whether to pick up. Um, I can answer text messages back. Uh, got a listing here, the kind of the things I do. So text messaging is a big one. Text rolls in while you've got your headset on, while you're in immersed, um, something I have to pay attention to. Um, I also have a dual factor app, right? So when I log in uh, to my web-based email at work, right, I need a second factor. Um, and so I'm able to actually do all of that while I'm in the headset because now I have access to that second factor. Now, I had put another thing in here. Uh, in healthcare, we have these secure messaging platforms, and we use one called Halo. Now, um, I had listed this here not thinking, but I'm glad I get to, to talk about it a second, um, because, because of the secure nature of this particular app, I can tell I've gotten a message. I cannot see it um, through the Your Phone app. Um, it's, it's blanked out. It's one of the settings that Halo provides to uh, ensure the security of the messages on that platform. So Halo message comes up, I've got to take my headset up and often uh, go see what's going on. I whoop, didn't mean to do that, sorry. Let me go back. Okay, um, I again, calls, I had mentioned this. Um, and sometimes I'll see a call come in and I won't pick it up. Um, and in that case, then I can access the voicemail that might get left. Um, I can get app notifications um, as they come in, and I've got various ones set for you know, news and uh, the FEMA weather alert system, um, all kinds of things, so that I know that I'm not going to miss things again while I'm in uh, a session. I can pipe music through, right? Um, I connect to my phone with my Bluetooth headset, and I can uh, play music. Now, some of these things you could certainly do from the desktop itself, but because of you know the the uh, phone being so app-based centric, 
I can pull up a specific app and do these specific things, right? I have certain podcasts that download every night and I listen to every morning, right? And I can just run them um, with, you know, while I'm in my headset and, and listen to them while I work. Um, I also have things like the ring doorbell, right? So I can be in my headset, somebody can ring the doorbell and I can actually look over on my phone and look out at the doorbell. Um, and blink cameras, kind of a similar thing, right? I could pull up a camera feed at any point I want to while I'm in my headset in my phone. So again, hopefully just another quick tip that um, will make your use of Immersed that much more productive and efficient um, bringing that, that in phone environment into you in your headset. So again, thanks for watching. We're going to leave with um, uh, another productivity uh, inspirational quote. This time it's from Charles Caleb Colton. If you're like me, oftentimes we don't know who these are, but I think this is a good one. This really jumped out to me when I saw it because I think it reflects the times we're in. Times of great calamity and confusion have been productive for the greatest minds. The purest ore is produced from the hottest furnace. The brightest thunderbolt is elicited from the darkest storm. So we've seen a real uh, sur surge in demand and interest in VR uh, during this COVID pandemic um, uh, period. And so it is certainly a, a great time and opportunity for companies like Immersed uh, to come onto the stage, get attention, uh, the attention it deserves, and hopefully see VR catch on and start to get utilized more, um, both at a personal and a corporate business level. So again, thank you very much for tuning in. Always appreciate you viewing. Um, please check out the channel for other videos. Um, we've got a Facebook page, if you're on Facebook, to check out, and a Twitter feed. So check out VR for Work if you want to email us. That's VR, the number four, WRK at gmail.com. That's work with no O. Okay, thanks again, and we'll see you in the metaverse. Bye now.